I'm sitting here with Tina Chang and Marshall Sade. Hello. And today we're going to talk about uh, top five reasons why we think we're single or we think that people are single. Okay. So, um, okay guys. What do you think? Well, it may be, well, from a woman's perspective, I feel like if you're aggravating to a guy if you call his phone too much or you're just too clingy maybe that's why you're single or you know maybe your pussy's not wet <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know maybe you just don't have good sex it may be a lot of things of why you're single I don't know I can go on for days so we go with the top five what do you think okay. Tina? I think the top five is well one of the top five is selection Mm -hmm. I think we are always in search of what we think we want and what's not good for us. Right. Sometimes we're sold on the image. We live in a microwave day and age <laughs> where image sells and what's popular on TV yeah. and what's popular in, you know, uh, social media is what a lot of women, unfortunately, get caught up in. Yeah, I believe that. I mean, because yeah. I always get caught up with the swag. The swag thing. I was stuck on that for a long time. So, yeah, I know what you mean. Us coming yeah. from New York. That's, it's a maturity thing. You know, you kind of grow out of it. You know, I, I, me, myself, coming from New York, I always had this um, hidden image where I thought, okay, if he had a little bit of street but cleaned up well and was able to maneuver mm -hmm. in corporate America but had a little hidden tattoo on his neck. You know, I was sold on it. Sold, you know. <laughs> it got me. But then, you know, it's, it's mature. Once you've had a couple of those bad apples and have gone through, you know, that whole whatever issue he has, the crazy baby mama, the crazy issues, oh, the, yeah. the, the, you know, the, the image of being sold on a man. Um, Maybe the cars. I know when I first moved here to Atlanta, you know, there were more groupy men than there were groupy women. Yeah. You know, men had yeah. flashy cars but didn't have shit going on for them. Mm -hmm. They had a nice car, but then they lived in an apartment with no furniture. But we didn't know that. It, it took us, you know, maybe a week or so or maybe even a month, maybe even longer, depending on the person they get to the house to see, you know, really or to get to a serious conversation to find out. That's true. That's true. Marshall? Um, yeah, she touched a lot of good yeah, points about the baby mama and everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, oh, a lot of these guys are here coming out the closet. They yeah. coming out. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's a lot of the reason. I mean, Atlanta, what's the ratio now? The ratio is... I have no idea. Well, three to one? Well, you know, <laughs> three women to one man now. I, I have I have been on that ratio thing for a long time. When I first moved here from New York, mm -hmm. a lot of people were flocking to Atlanta because mm -hmm. they said, "Oh, the ratio to women to men is seventeen to one." So all the men were flocking here. But really, when you break down the ratio of you know the kind of women that there are and whether or not they're quality women versus the quantity of women, mm -hmm. then the ratio is pretty much even because. It's a lot of bullshit that we deal with with women. It's a lot mm -hmm. of bullshit that we deal with men. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it just depends on where certain people are in their life. And, you know, sometimes we have to go or sift through a lot of the bullshits. Okay, so getting back to the 10 to 1 ratio. I think that the 10, I mean, men say it's 10 to 1. You said 3 to 1. Mm -hmm. I think that basically with 10 to 1 ratio, mm, the woman... The woman that is of substance with that 10 to 1 is about... I'd say 2. 2. What do you think? I think 1. I think 1 out of the 10 would probably be of substance to yeah. me. Because it's hard it's to get a woman done. that has it all together. <laughs> and they're going to get, you know, just garbage. Just straight mm -hmm. garbage is going to be the 9 or the 8. And they're going to get that 1. So... You gotta search through ten to get that one of substance, and then you're gonna act stupid because you got the nine lingering in the, you know, it's lingering there, just doing anything. Just that the one of substance is not gonna do. Yeah. Well, I like to think of it this way: why, why do the women have to be the ratio? Why is it the men? Because. 
to me, as far as I'm concerned and where I am, I think that I'm the, the lesser of the ratio and that there are a lot of men out there that are full of shit and that I have to sift through because I can meet anyone where I go, wherever I go, to the grocery store, to the gym, at the light, the gas station, you know, shopping. I meet them everywhere. And so it's, it's a matter of where that person is, where that man is. I've dealt with a lot of bullshit. I've met some nice men. I've met some men that were just ready to go straight to the altar. Mm -hmm. But, you know, some yeah. men that did things too quickly, like spending money on me, you know, going right. like all the way out, like it's good. You know, what woman doesn't want that? But then at the end of the day, you have to say, OK, well, damn, he's doing this really quick. He must do this all the time. You know, right. like, do you want that? No. Right. I mean, you think exactly like I think, because I think that, too, because when God says, man, it's 10 to 1 out here, it's 10 to 1. And I think to myself. I'm not feeling that 10-1. What are you talking yeah, about? I agree. Because when we go out, mm -hmm. I mean, they're on us. Mm -hmm. And we can get 10 numbers in one night. But are we going to even call any of them? You know, it's yeah. like strike, not him, not him, not him. Mm -hmm. You know, you might call one and the conversation goes south. Like, they'll say something like, when are you going to cook? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, dude, you didn't even ask me out on a date. Can I come you over? Just wipe them off. Can yeah. I come it's over? So fast. How about that new question? Where you live at? Let me pull up on you. Oh. Are you serious? Okay, strike him too. So you know we do have to weed out. I yeah. get that. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. me and you coming from New York and then having the Jamaican background, mm -hmm. it's like we think so much alike. I look yeah. at you and I'm like, man, she's like my twin. So, mm -hmm. what do you think, Marshall? Um, I've dated a little bit, but I haven't really jumped out there as much. But when I did, it, I don't know. I just, like you said, like, it's like the, you have to keep up an image. They're going off of an image. If you don't have an image, then it's kind of like they don't, mm -hmm. you know, they don't really want to take you as serious. I don't know. I think it's all over an image. And I think it's it's just an era right now. Mm -hmm. And it's just in our generation, and it, it sucks because now young women, it's hard to have real relationships. And, I mean, now the older guys are, you know, dating the younger women. And it still makes it hard for us because the older guys aren't dating shit either. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the older guys have baggage. <laughs> yeah, the package. <laughs> They delivery, baggage, <laughs> special delivery for you. That you're like, okay, and then the younger guys was just so fun. They're like, carefree and come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. You know, and the older guys were like, cougar. But <laughs> cougar. don't get me wrong. I I respect the older guy more than I do the younger one. But anyway, yeah. all right, guys, we're gonna take a break. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome back to Single in the City. And now we have Ashley with us. She has just joined us. Late now. <laughs> so what we want to talk about now is, have you ever dated a guy that had sugar in the tank? Or that you thought had sugar in the tank? Right. I have dated somebody who I thought had sugar in the tank. Actually, I was with him for like a year and a half. But I don't think it was so much that he had, sh like he was on the sweeter side. I think it was just, he was an emotional person. So it kind of made me think that he had really feminine ways, but he wasn't really like right. into men. But he had very feminine ways about him. I, um, I agree. I had the same, I never, <laughs> I never dated someone that I thought may have been bisexual or gay. But I dated someone and my traditional thought of what a man should be. I didn't think that he fulfilled what I what my expectation. Like he, one of the main things was he didn't have he didn't speak with the the manly voice, the baritone voice. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. That is just something. Yeah. That's not something that was taught to me. That's just something where it's like a sense of comfort or protection. Mm -hmm. Um. And he just he unlike you know we 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 us us as women are pegged as being the needy ones most of the time right. in a relationship. But he was needy, and I just couldn't take it. It was just so, overwhelming. It's exactly the same thing. I don't like this he was needy, like yeah. He did like I feel like I paid for everything. Like he didn't. Oh, I'm not talking about that kind of needy. Now. That's, that's no. pushing oh, that's it that's far in. Right. He didn't contribute <laughs> enough. Like he didn't have his own 
independence. It was kind of mm -hmm. like he was dependent on me. Oh, he was pimping. He was young too. Yeah, he was using. <laughs> yeah. He was just pimping. Yeah. Now, <laughs> my, my... But I won't say that because it changed like over like after a year, well, two years, after a year and a half, like it changed. But by the time he changed and realized that he had to be more dependent to be with me, it was kind of like too late because I had already met right. somebody else. Yeah. What about you, Marshall? Um, well, um, I've dated a guy that I felt that was feminine, but I didn't notice until everybody else did. And I was like, well, I don't see it. And then one day I was like, whoa, he did it. Was it a now mannerism I know. or? It was like his actions yeah. or like, I mean, sometimes he would play and like mimic me. Like, mm. A little too much. Yeah, yeah. and I was like, oh, you're doing that too well. <laughs> well, okay. yeah, like, he, my mom would say stuff like, but like boo boo, and I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that boo boo is a giveaway. That boo boo? That boo boo? What? That's it right there. What? Yeah. Who says what yeah. man says boo boo? Yeah. Yeah, that's it right yeah. there. I don't but even yeah. like it when a man texts me and say K. Just yeah, spell yeah. out okay. <laughs> don't say K. She's like going so deep about it. She's like, no, don't say K. Don't say K in my text. <laughs> but you but guys if know he what's crazy. K in person, that's going to be like, even oh, you my guys God. know what's crazy? I was in Uber the other day. And I, I always have conversations with my Uber drivers just to find out who they are, what they're about. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking to my Uber driver, and he's a gay man. Yeah. And he's talking to me about his boyfriend. He just starts venting to me. So I'm like listening to his story. Okay. And then I asked him, how long have you guys been together? He said, well, we're not together. But you say he was your boyfriend. He was right. like, well, he doesn't think he's gay. Uh -huh. I said, well, what do you mean by that? He said, we have issues because he keeps having sex with women and he won't stop. And But he's still putting his thing in my butt. And he's like, I think you're gay if you're doing that. And he said he's not gay. It was just a one-time nice. thing. Okay, I do want to address that. So. He's bisexual. Yes. yes he's bisexual. So. He's definitely bisexual. But it's there, kinda... a lot of people think you either have to be gay or you're not. Yeah. He's bisexual. There is bisexual men out there too. Mm -hmm. So there is in between. That's crazy. Yeah. Now that's when it gets deep. It's bad because women don't know it. And he's like he has he has so many girls and like they don't even know that he messes with me. Like we have pictures together. He gets mad when I take pictures of him with me and stuff. He doesn't like he's come out. in the closet, and I never really experienced somebody telling me a, a real life situation about the men being in the closet out here. But it was really crazy because when he showed me the picture, he doesn't even look like he's gay. Right? Oh, it's a lot of. Them. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. It's I a lot of that. What about you? Oh, I one thing I do want to. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna address me a minute. So she got me on that one. But Marsha, I do want to touch on something that you said. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, when people sometimes we don't see it, and then people will bring it to our attention, and then it's good because then we can open our eyes and mm -hmm. start watching. You right? Know? Yeah. Because it's it's hard to see a situation when you're actually in the situation. Mm -hmm. yes. People people may bring it to your attention and then it may open your eyes and you know give you things to look at. It's it's very hard. It's mm -hmm. just like when if if you start a workout plan. Mm -hmm. You know, if you see yourself every day and mm -hmm. other than trying on clothes, if you look in the mirror every day, it's hard to tell. Right. You know what the changes are unless they're completely dramatic. But sometimes it may take someone for you to say, okay, well, you know, maybe I am. Yeah. You know, and it's hard to notice those situations when you're in them. Yeah, I think love is blind, so sometimes you just got to step out the box and say, hey, a lot of people are saying this. Right. Let me look and see. Oh, yeah, he did pick that up a little funny. <laughs> <laughs> he did right. shake his butt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or, but, Okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, or like if you're in a relationship and I feel like if a guy ever asks you, hey, I want to try like anal sex. Oh, uh, yes. I feel like right out of the bag, like, why? I think adamant about... Why would about you want to do that? Anal, adamant about anal sex. Wait a minute. Let's hold on. Let's, let's time out. He wants to try anal sex on you or he wants you to lick his ass or... Cause this no, is anal sex on me. Yeah, I think they're they're adamant about it. Like they keep pushing it. Yes, that is I'm something. Like, but some people mention it, but they don't push it. But they do push it, push, push it. Yeah. I think that is something yeah. that's going on. I think I, yeah. I don't know. I, I agree. We gotta get somebody that's on the other side to get on the show, and then that's coming up, guys. We have to come <laughs> up. so stay tuned for that. 
but for me um i would say yes i was in a relationship a long relationship with someone won't say any names that i, think I'm I thought you know had a little sugar in the tank and i think like in the streets people might have known that because i you know little red flags was popping up and just sometimes you know acting a little funny if you're out late at night until six in the morning playing the game with your homeboys and i'm home in the bed i don't know guys but i don't know right i'm kind of i'm leery about that and then when you call you do hear the homeboys you know in the back <laughs> yeah and then i went through the phone one day and saw some texts that was from a guy. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Okay, come on, we need details. What what kind Hi. of Hi Like, I can't wait to fuck you and I Oh like, uh, Yeah. Okay. yeah. So he did have sugar in his tank. Yeah. Now, okay. Yeah. You gonna take this dick nigga, yeah. Okay. Now the other one was kind of suspicion. This is basically evidence. Okay. <laughs> so there's no. This is like he you know, is, this is bisexual. bisexual. So there's no, no man is like that's how we talk, talk like that about the game. We talking about yeah, the me, game. Oh no! I have no, I have no. five brothers. Okay. He really is. And, and I can give you the man's perspective, even though I'm a woman, I because I have so many brothers. <laughs> Any. No man, man is gonna joke about anything gay related whatsoever. Right? Yeah, no. Without being really undercover. Right. Or so, what do you guys think about men who like will compliment or will say things about other men? Like he's not even a cute, a hot nigga, or like he's not even like. Oh no, guys like, don't even do that. No, they do, but not like that. Yeah. Now, the, what I've experienced, I I I may hear another guy say. Well, he ain't even no nigga like that. You know, he may say it like that, but to give specifics, hot like that, cute, men don't say cute. Yeah, not, no. a, not in my dictionary. Not not, not the kind of men. Who are pretty. Mm -hmm. Men don't say that. No, no, men, no, no. no. Hell no. They might say no. he ain't no real ass no. nigga. Agree. Or. Yeah. And that, that might just be a jealousy thing right there. But yeah, yeah all the but... details, adjectives about how they look or describing. No, that's suspect. You have to give like a whole tutorial. We need a class. How to figure out if he's gay <laughs> before you date him. <laughs> we do need tips. We do need tips. Because I'll to be watch lost. for like if he like say. But I I think Boom. that's I think that should, that should be that should be the boo -boo. top five questions. The top number one thing on the list is boo boo. <laughs> but then, that's, when I heard that come out the mouth and then like, whoa. Yeah, and the fact that I used to say like you act like a female and it didn't bother him really made me feel a little bit more. Oh, yeah, no. that's oh, a fight right there. Yeah. But you know, I think that should be one of the top five questions that a female asks a man when they first meet. Are you? Okay? Are you, know, you bisexual? Okay. You know, because they're not gonna tell. But no, they they will because I've had men wow. that that come here from New York to visit, and they've had women. I've had girlfriends ask that. That's like the second question. Do you have a girlfriend? Do you have a wife? And are you gay? And usually, five, six, eight, ten years ago, a dude would be ready to fight the female or just walk away, period. But now men have to really understand the days and times that we're in and the location that we're in. And that's a good-ass question to ask. Yeah, it is. You know, it's right up there with the top five questions oh, yeah. that you need to ask when you're dating people. I didn't even know that married men are out here portraying like they're not married. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's old. Sweetheart, that's uh, that's been around for years. Uh, I never forget we were at Atlantic Square Mall in Atlanta, Georgia, and we were outside having dinner by Cheesecake Factory. They just built the Cheesecake Factory, and it was a guy with two little girls. They were so cute, and I was like, "Oh, look at the two little girls!" And someone asked the guy with the two little girls to act, take a picture, and he did. Oh. He pouted to the lips like a... He was like, he set the girls aside and he took the picture and he did. Mm -hmm. I said, oh my God, he's gay! <laughs> that was sugar. Yeah, that was sugar. Yeah. yeah. What? That's what I mean. Like, just those little things. 
I, I could see it from a mile away. So, and the one dude that I did date that I thought had the female tendencies with the with the voice thing, like it was like a turn off. Like yeah, it is. A like when it became yeah. you know like I I I he was fine as hell. So you mm -hmm. know we did have sex, but you know when it came to the intimate part, and I was like, oh my god, I, I was like, can you please shut up? Like right. oh my god, like my <laughs> like you gonna make my I was like, shut up. If you could just stand there and just look Seriously. good, and I'm like, you look, just shut up real quick. Up. Like nothing else was, nothing else was suspect about like when him. When you wake up in the morning, yes, nothing else was suspect but that. But you know what? I noticed that the gay ones are always fine as hell. Mm. Why is that? I don't know. They so far they coming so out. Far. I'm like. I mean, even the guy on Empire you know, you is like, for being oh gay. God. He's like, just sexy, all <laughs> So everybody's coming out of the closet these days, like on TV, even on ABC. That's like regular TV. I'm feeling some type of way about that because kids are watching, and we don't want to put into little kids' heads. I mean, they showing two men having sex on TV. This is not HBO. Two so women. I, and two women too. So we don't want to put those things inside kids' heads. You know, I just feel some type of way about that. And I, I don't know. There's nothing we can do. We have youngins growing up and they're watching TV and they see two men having sex. Two women having sex. When we was growing up, it wasn't like that. We didn't see that on TV. We had to be watching some paid television or something like that. So I feel some type of way about it. My son is not even going to watch TV. <laughs> like, we're going to watch movies. <laughs> Disney, Lion King. Like, we're going to watch old traditional movies. Like, you can't. Everything is just... They even have movies in theaters now that are doing gay subliminal messages in the children movies. Mm -hmm. So I think it's taking the responsibility away from parents. And um, where it, it's so, oh, everything is just so open, and it's nothing against um, gay rights and same couple marriages or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just taking a lot of the power away from teaching, you know, your children. I get offended when I hear stuff like that. Like, free code, that's all. If I'm out and I play that song, I'm not about to turn up with y'all. What, what is, is the name it? of it? Future Free Code. Oh yeah, I don't freak out. And these I'm girls will dance like and turn. They love this song. Yeah. It's playing in everywhere. Like people yeah. love that song, yeah. and it's just like I stay down when that song comes on because I'm like, yeah, y'all really dancing to this man calling y'all some freak hoes? Yeah. No, I now let me say no. something. Oh, no, she's just it's just you know, that means right. I can't deal that with it. Like, no. Dancing, she's like, I'm jumping up there. No, I'm not saying that I'm a freak ho at all because I'm not. I only a freak with one man, and that's my. <laughs> But I like the beat, and I don't like what he's saying. I like Future, but I don't always agree about what he's saying. I like the beat, right. so I'm like, if he's saying "freak hole" on the beat, I like some of his I like songs, the beat, so I'm mean, dance. No, it's not about his. It's not, it's about, not about what he's the, saying. It's about to me that song is just he to says me. it over repeatedly and over his "freak hole," "freak hole," "freak hole," "freak hole." That's right. all I'm saying the whole song. And like, if you're dancing to that, I just feel like people look at you like. Dang, she yeah. really is enjoying herself to this song. Right. This man called her exactly. Freako. My baby called her Freako. Like, yeah. I you know, mean, it's just certain I don't things. Know. Like, it's okay for them to say certain things in songs as long as it's not a consistency to it, yeah. especially when it's a good beat. But, like, when somebody's repeatedly saying Freako, Freako, it's another song like that I don't really yeah. like either. I can see, but yeah. It's just like, it's That's weird. It's like, you don't, I, get, I feel weird when I'm like, thrilled by that right. by somebody saying that yeah. like it feels like that's kind of disrespectful mm. i don't know i like songs yeah. off of beats though i do too but when somebody so. keeps repeatedly saying freak ho yeah. i'm not a ho <laughs> yeah i'm not about to get happy for calling one yeah. they call me i can definitely understand it <laughs> you know yeah. it's just like mm, it's weird i'm just weird when it comes to stuff like that i don't know i just don't think about it too much i just think about the beat and i'm just like oh i like this beat it's kind of right. like, and then whatever he's saying on it, I just ignore it. I don't know. Okay. okay. You're just living? Yeah. <laughs> so, Tina. Yes. I noticed the ring on your, oh, the thanks. ring on your finger. Mm -hmm. Are you engaged? Are you single? 
Oh, I'm very much single. Oh, okay. Cause but it, it, it will be replaced very soon. I know, a viewers, you know, I just want to clear that up. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have potential? I do. Oh, good. Wow. You know, I was watching Being Mary Jane the other day. Mm -hmm. And I, and I was watching, uh, the last episode, the one with the funeral, have you seen it? Mm -hmm. You guys saw it? Mm -hmm. So, in that episode, you have the the part where, um, was it her mother and father in the house? Mm -hmm. and, they, and they were getting dressed, he was in his tie, she was in the closet getting dressed for the funeral, and she mm -hmm. was trying to stretch for her hat. And I just got, I just got all choked up. I was just like, he came and he it was helped a her. It was he a helped moment. her with the hat. Mm -hmm. And I was like, who's going to help me with my hat? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, man, it's just so hard out here. Like, who's going to help me with my hat? That's, that was my moment with that. I mean, so you got a potential. Keep it I have a couple. Wow. It's like whoever. Whoever step up to the plate first. Yes, basically. Yeah. And it's sad, but that's what you have to do. You can't, you can't get yourself wrapped all up in one person. You know, your number one objective is to make sure that you don't get hurt as right. an individual. So, you know, only, there's only one person that knows you the best and that's you. Um, I, I actually have two potentials. And, mm -hmm. and uh, you know. They are two, one person I've known for um, 18 years, just one person that I've dated for close to six, seven years. Wow. And they are both husband material straight right. out the box. They are people that will get my hat. What right. do you think, Ashley? What do you think? Oh. Do you have anyone there that can get your hat? Who's going to be there for you and Ooh. hold you down? And this is hard. Right. I'm talk about this. Because to me, um, getting the hat is someone who's there and got your back. Yeah. You know? Uh oh. Um, it's probably wrong to come talk to me about this. <laughs> I'm going through a very weird phase in the person, with the person I've been dealing with. So, I mean, I'm not really close to my family. So, it's, I have very few friends. And he's kind of like the person I can put more aside, so like my friend slash family side, but it's like we have more of a, our relationship has a lot of drama for many different reasons. And I wouldn't say, that, I would say he's a person that has my back, but it may just be hard because we're still in the phase of being together and not together at the same time, if you know what I mean. Sometimes that's the best thing. That's no, when, it's that's when you get to, but that's when you get to know someone. That way you're not vested. You know, you don't you don't have anything to lose, you don't have anything to gain. You know, if you're just getting to know and sometimes a lot of us we rush into relationships. You know, we are head over heels at first and then oh my god, if the sex happens, you know, we're emotional creatures. That's the way yeah. God intended us to be. You know, as as much as we may not want the men to know that, you know, that's when you know, it kind of develops unless you are just a, well, a, wall, like, a wall of stone. We've been like on and off for a year. It's just things got and been getting just kind of weird lately. It's only been a year. <laughs> it feels longer, right? <laughs> it does feel like it's been a year. I'm telling you, I've been through everything with him. Like I've seen, I've met. Oh, he's older though. He's gosh. the first older person I've really dated this long, and it's oh, so. It sounds like you have that love hate relationship. We do. We have. I know that one. I, I know these people. Him. And I can have them to be around each other and not speak at all. And it's just like. Well, let me tell you what I tell my girlfriend. I have a girlfriend that couldn't get over this guy. They have broke up for like a whole year. Yes. And I tell her, I said, listen, this is what you do. Put down everything. Just go in your closet. Get your black dress out. And you're gonna put it on, and you're gonna have a whole funeral for him. <laughs> Just put in your mind that he's dead. He's no longer around. I thought she was Just gonna say kill go him out. Off. <laughs> right. Right. Don't talk party. That's all. <laughs> Just kill him off. And mentally, Just kill him off. you have to kill him off mentally because 
If you don't, you're always going to be going back. So, Marshall. Oh. <laughs> do you have anyone who will get your hat? Um, I don't know. I think I do. I think I do. Wow. <laughs> That's nice to know. Yeah, but I feel like at this point in time, I feel like he's not in the position for me right now. Right. Right. Yeah. The timing. Yeah, the timing is bad. Timing when the timing is bad, she's like, oh, man. I hate it when that happens to me. You know? So, I, I definitely feel like he would definitely get in my head. Great. And everything above it and mm -hmm. under it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome to know. I'm happy for you. So, Michelle, do you have anyone that is potentially good job? Well... <laughs> Well, remember, I was crying. I was like, who's going to get my hat when I was watching the show? Right. Because I felt like I don't really have that person there that will get my hat. I really do. So, yeah. I don't think I have anyone that will get my hat. Bad timing. But bad timing. <laughs> you think it was bad timing? Bad timing. I don't think so. I, I, I can't tell you that one person that I feel, that I feel that, hey, he got my back. No, I don't. But you know, guys will say they do, but for you to genuinely feel, feel, feel yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's no, it's yeah, different. Feel it. Yeah, because guys tell you all day. Yeah. But I don't, I don't feel that with anyone. I, I really don't. I think, yeah, oh wow, I don't even want to go into it. I mean, I think if I was broke down on the side of the road, I don't know. <laughs> and please, I hope uh, not. you know what? What? I hope I'm not, not, I'm never not, be broke down on the side of the road. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm not. I'm not feeling that because you know what? I, I've seen when we've gone out, guys and even good. new guys that interact with her. If 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 she doesn't have anyone that will get her hat, she's getting in her own way. Which I already know that that's true, right? Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So she yeah. has somebody there to get the hat, but it's it. I I I know that it it may not be who you want, right? Maybe. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Yeah. And I didn't think about that either. That's deep. Yeah. I feel that you're you're changing, but the guys that you're coming across now mm -hmm. are not good for you. Really. Yeah, they're no. not now. Yes, I think she has a short fuse. Her fuse is like this. Yes, so, it's like oh, you're not gonna be it. Yeah. Psh, boom. Next. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next. Yeah, like one little thing. You said something wrong, or you do something wrong. It's just I, I a, and I understand I that because the clock is ticking right no, now. No, it's just no. I don't think it has anything not, to do with the clock. No, I think it has I'm to do with. I'm not having any kids, so no, the no, no. no. I know right. that. Right. But the clock is ticking as far as you wanting to settle down right now. How long like have you been single? No, right no, now. no, wait a minute. I don't think that's it either. And just in, in her and I having short conversations, but mm -hmm. detailed conversations, okay. I think it's because her and I being a little older, mm -hmm. we've seen so much. Mm -hmm. You know, and maybe because of the way, you know, she looks, she may get more attention than the average person. And because of that, you know, you can take an average looking person that may, when they go walk down the street, they only have one person try to stop and talk. We've been out, and I mean, it's like that back then. Right, yeah. So, of course, you know, there are going to be people that she may meet, and they may say one or two things, and uh, she like, knows right off the back. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes, and she says that a lot. Yeah. Like, I can sm spot bullshit from a mile away. She always says that. Mm -hmm. And I understand that. I get that, but... It's kind of like some people mess up sometimes. I agree, and, and and that's and that's what I meant by you getting in your own way. And sometimes, you know, like she she has a valid point. Some people do mess up sometimes. Yeah, and kind of say, like and sometimes they're intimidated. Some, you know, a lot of men um, don't know how to talk to, handle, conversate mm -hmm. with not only pretty women but confident pretty women that know how to speak, that know how to talk, that know. And that everybody else wants. Right. That's intimidating to some men. That's why I say the men that I do, I know I'm a handful. So I need someone that's on 10. Right. Compared to me. Exactly. Because I've had the jealous boyfriend. I've had mm -hmm. the boyfriend that by all means just looking at him. You got everybody to be like. 
damn. Yeah. But he was so his his insecure. he was so insecure. Right. It was like no matter yeah. what I did, so <laughs> the whole now no matter what I did, he was still intimidated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No matter what you do. Yeah. I know. I mean, I think we've seen it all, and that's why we can spot bullshit. I agree. When we see it, um, I have a short fuse for that. Like, yeah, I'm like next because I don't want to put up with no more bullshit. I'm mm -hmm. gonna be real to you, and I need you to be real to me out the gate. Because that is, I think that you need to definitely date someone that is at least five to eight years your senior. No more, wow. no more, because men our age, she said it at the beginning of our discussion, is that there are older men dating younger women. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, there is what it can be for a, a lot of different reasons. But you're not finding, you are not, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a needle in a haystack, it's a piece of hay in a haystack that you're looking for. Men our age and younger that want to go straight to the relationship. And oh my God, don't let them have some money. Oh, yeah. oh, because yeah. then they're going to think that every woman that they meet is out to take them for what they have. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Unless and it's someone that you've them. known someone. So I definitely think you need to go older. They kill me with that too. And they, they'll get your hat for you. You think mm -hmm. so? Most definitely. So I got to wait for, I got to look for the one that's... Close the to the grave. The ones are <laughs> the ones our age don't want to. They don't want to be settled down. With they don't want to. They don't want to. They're just getting out here. I'm just trying to figure this out because if he's close to the they grave, they want to be young. He can't get my. Let me tell you this. I'm confused. I'm I feel like this is a thing with older women and older men. Wait, 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 wait. Not women. close to the grave. No. And then I, I, my, my potential that's overseas right now. He's only three years older than me. That's good. I mean, three years older than me is not bad. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Um, Tina, what's your IG? Oh, Worldwide0611. And Marshall? I'm Marshall Shade Smith on IG. I'm one Ash Av on <laughs> IG. I'm Michelle underscore Shade7. Number seven, that is. And um, thank you for joining us, guys. Thank you.